Good evening everyone. A lot of subscribers ask me how to make realistic water drops. So in this tutorial I will answer on this question. So let's get started. First what we are going to do is to make a new layer by press on this icon. Now hit the D key, reset the foreground background color to black and white and now let's add a little bit of clouds so go to filter render clouds the clouds make very good foundation for a lot of texture effects and now what we're gonna do to go to back down to filter stylize find edges Now let's do adjustment the levels. So go to image adjustments, choose levels. So now just simply grab this shadow, just make it in the beginning of the histogram, like this. Now click OK. Now we have something like rug here, our effect. If you wanna be looking for a rocky rubber effect, you can stop right here. But we're gonna move on. Go to filter. Catch. We're gonna looking for plaster. Here we have it. Now from this setting, just drag and move. You can make your own size of water drops. It's not necessary to follow my own setting, so it's up to you. For me, uh, I'll make it like this. Pretty cool. Click on OK. Now simply delete the black areas. The easiest way to do that, click here on the magic tool. Click. Then hold down delete key, hit the delete, delete key, like this. Control D command D on the Mac to unselect and click again on the black area. Be sure that there is no any black area on your on your drawer drops. To make it more realistic, that look okay, looks okay. Now, after removing the black areas, go to go and change the normal mode to overlay. As you can see, it's water splashed on our image. This is not the final result. What we are looking for. One more step left to make it more realistic. Just hold down the control key command on the Mac. Notice that appear little square over the layer. Click to make selection only on water drops. Once the selection active, click on background like this. So still we have selection on layer one, but now we are working on background. Now go to filter, distort, choose spherize. Make it on 16 or 17. Click on OK. Here we have it. And now this is the final result for our tutorial today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you on next video. Bye bye.